Hey everyone, Tim here. I wanted to share a little something I've been working on recently. Uh, it's a project that came out of my freelance work with small and medium businesses who don't have their own full-blown data science teams, but still need insights into the data they have. I call it Litdatix. I noticed that many businesses I work with have a ton of data, but not always the resources to make sense of it. Uh, Litlytics sort of tries to bridge that gap by giving almost anyone the ability to make data-driven decisions in a way that doesn't require a full team of data scientists. It's an analytics platform that leverages large language models to process and analyze the data. This allows it to handle complex tasks without the need for manual setup. And because LLMs are so efficient, the cost per document is usually just a fraction of a cent, making it super affordable solution for small businesses that need data insights but don't really have big budgets. Let me give you a quick walkthrough to show you how easy it is to use. So let's give it a task. I'm gonna hit that auto-generate button and we're gonna plan our pipeline here. So I'm gonna give it a task and I'm gonna say, analyze customer reviews for sentiment and extract complaints from negative reviews. This is a real use case we had with one of my customers. Fairly straightforward, nothing you know overly complex here, but it is a pain in ass to do it manually. So I'm gonna hit the plan button and we're gonna get a suggested pipeline from Litlytics in just a second. There we go. So it decided to analyze the sentiments, filter out negative reviews, and then extract complaints from each review, which is almost perfect, right? So I only, uh, I don't really care about the reviews per document or sort of complaints per document. I wanna have summary or overview of all of the common complaints, right? So I'm gonna ask it to refine it and I'm gonna say, let's add a new step after complaint extraction to summarize all complaints from previous step. Gonna hit refine and this is gonna add another step that summarizes complaints so it understood perfectly what I want. So I'm gonna hit the create describe pipeline button and Litlytics will generate the pipeline for us in a few seconds. Okay, now that we got our pipeline, next step is to upload the data. So I prepared a few documents here. Uh, those are reviews from PlayStation 5 from Amazon, if I remember correctly. Not exactly, you know, customer data, but at least something I can show you and they should work pretty fine for this task. So I'm gonna add them in here and I'm gonna say we're gonna use one positive and one negative as a test document. Before we run the pipeline, I want to basically double check that the LLM understood me correctly and done everything that I want. So we're gonna go into each step and check that, you know, everything is basically in order. So let's start with analyze sentiments. This is an LLM step. And as you may imagine, this is a prompt step essentially. So we have our generated prompt over here. Um, and it says, please analyze the sentiment of each customer review and provide a document. Okay, so we already now see that, you know, the LLM misunderstood us. It decided that we are gonna give it a document with many reviews. So I'm gonna ask it to adjust it. So the input is um, one review. Please adjust the prompt, right? So I don't have to do this myself. I don't have to think about how to adjust it. I just ask Litlytics to do it for me and it will accordingly change whatever is required in a prompt, right? So there you go, provided customer review, read it carefully, evaluate the sentiments. Cool, um, there we go, right? So let's test it. We can try it on our documents. If we try it on positive, there we go, we got positive. And if we try it on negative, it should be negative as expected, perfect. So the next step we got here is filter negative reviews. And if you see here, this is a code step. And the moment I opened it, I already see that it's wrong because I know how to program essentially, right? So I know this is wrong. If you are not a software developer, you don't know how to program, the Litlytics also generates the code explanation that basically tells you in plain text what this does. So you can read through that and check if it is correct, right? So it looks literally at the string and if string is negative, it's not gonna work, right? Because our sentiment detection is a lot more complex and there is a lot of things in there. So let's say the input is um, large string with sentiment as well as explanation for the sentiment, right? Um, check if, if the string contains lowercase negative instead of um, comparison, right? So we just wanna basically check if the string contains the word negative, then we assume that this is a negative review. 
there you go. So now it's pretty much what we want. Again, the code explanation is regenerated. So if you're not a programmer, you can check with this. Uh, from my experiments, it works fairly well. So you can adjust it just based on code explanation without any software development knowledge. So let's give it a test. If it tests positive, there should be no value returned because it was filtered out. And if it tests negative, there's our negative review. All right, next step is complaints. Let's have a look what we have here. You are tasked with extracting complaints from a document containing filtered negative reviews. Okay, cool. Again, the same problem. It's sort of thought that we're going to have one document with many reviews. We're going to say that the input is one document, uh, one negative review. Uh, adjust prompts accordingly, right? So we're just going to tell it, hey, you're getting just one document as an input, adjust it. So don't, you don't have to do all the other stuff. So it, removed whatever we don't need. Looks fine. Let's have a look. So this should not work because it got filtered out and then negative review, we should get a nice list of complaints. There you go. That looks fine. So summarization step, I'm guessing this is fine, right? Because it's really hard to actually screw up summarization. So let's see task with summarizing extractor complaints. Please read. Yeah, yeah, that seems okay, right? So there's nothing really uh, complex here, and we take all the previous results. So now that we know that everything is good, we tested it, we hit the play button, this will execute the full pipeline, you can see the progress basically on step execution. Since we only have three documents, it's going to be fairly fast. And once the execution is finished, we should get a nice list of summarized complaints. There we go. So very nicely formatted, you can copy it, of course, if you need that. Uh, or you can, you know, save it to file or whatever. There's an API to work with that and everything. Uh, but that's a besides the point right now. Uh, in addition to getting the actual result, what you get is an estimates for time tokens and costs for each document and step as well as for the full pipeline. So here on the steps, you can see this is the average time per document. So in this case, sentiment analysis took 1.8 seconds used 596 in input tokens and 69 output tokens. And one document cost us 0 0.013 cents. This is a price in cents. So as I said, you know, when I said it was cheap, I wasn't joking, it is ridiculously cheap. Then we have the same metrics for every step, obviously. And then on the output, you get the metrics for the whole pipeline for all documents combined. So for you know, the whole process took us 15 seconds. 2.6k tokens of input 700 tokens of output and the whole thing cost us 0.087 cents which is like it's not even a cent right it's not even a fraction of a cent at this stage basically it's ridiculously cheap so there we go that's how it works now here's where i need your input would something like this be useful to you or maybe businesses you work with maybe your employer and would you be interested in seeing it open sourced the goal would be to let others build on it and adapt it to their own needs extend it and so on and so forth uh, please let me know in the comments if this is something that's interesting for you, if you think making it open source is helpful to you, right? If you would love to see that. Uh, and yeah, if you have questions and so on and so forth, feel free to throw them in the comments. If you want to try it, do contact me. I can give you a demo uh, link. Basically, it is limited right now as this thing is still a bit rough around the edges. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye.